What? Sorry guys, it's been a couple of weeks. A lot has happened, but as you see, we have moved into the new place. I was able to fit the Audi in here. I still gotta get this thing running so that I can pass smog and then put it into my name. The missus has kept trying to talk me into selling this thing, but I think after she saw me driving it, she thought it was a nice car as well. Finally understands why I wanna hang on to this thing. I do love it. And I was really able to get it like almost against the wall. I'm content with it. It'll be here and probably will be worked on in the next few weeks. I wanna try to get this thing running get it registered and become my daily driver. Anyway, that's down the road. This thing, I taped some footage right before the move and I kind of just stopped because we got really lucky on this place. Guy got back to me within an hour, said he'd love to meet up. We met the next day, signed the contract. I believe a day or two later than that or the lease terms happened really fast. So that all happened while I was already taping the video that I was going to put out that week. Since then, it has been a nonstop battle. It's all good, it's just a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of effort. So anyway, for the next week or so, I ended up moving things over here by myself. But once we were fully out of the old location, I was trying to get it cleaned up and set up so someone can move in by the first. Since then, we've had the holidays and setting this place up and just trying to have a normal life. We still had to do some things at the salon. It's just been nonstop busyness and nothing related to cars. So instead of doing what I used to do, which was kind of tape it, and it put a lot of pressure on me, I decided I was just gonna rock it all out and then come back to you guys with a fresh mind. Now, with that said, what I would like to do is kind of show you around the house a little bit, kind of show what's going on. First things first, two car garage, so stoked. So anyway, the house. This is the new place. Please disregard if it's a little messy, we're still unpacking, but we have our living room, our little dining room area, good sized kitchen. Then we come down and we have a bathroom in here. There's the master bed. I'm gonna leave that because it's still a little messy. Uh, we also have a master bath. I have my little office here, which is another thing that was kind of holding us up. I had to paint this thing or lacquered it. it. Took a couple days to dry completely before I could set up the editing place. And then we also have a spare bedroom. Pretty cool. It's nice to not have to share the spare bedroom with my office, which was what I had to do in the past. And probably you guys never saw it because I made sure to kind of focus on this area instead of the crunch space that we had an extra bed in. Anyway. All said and done, this is almost double the space of the last place. Between the airplanes gone, space to hide things, move things around, actually work and not be clustered up, it's been pretty good. Now, as far as the future of this channel and the videos, I do think I'm gonna be moving down to one episode a week again. It's putting out two a week, I can even watch just from the view count. It lost interest, even for me. It just kind of became a job of putting them out instead of enjoying making them. And that's not what I wanted. So we'll see, we'll see how things end up. But for the time being, moving forward, there'll be one one episode a week, at least for a while. The other thing, I think this is gonna start shifting a little bit. I'm still gonna be doing flips, but I don't know if I'm gonna be doing the $500 flips anymore. This thing has become my biggest nightmare ever. I hate this thing. It has taught me a lot, but again, coming back to my video about flipping for the past year, I started doing numbers and it's time to make this a financial goal for work. So I'm just gonna be straight up with you guys. My goal right now is to try to hit $10,000 a month in income. It's pretty aggressive. I do think being here in my own garage, my tools right there, not having to clean up, not have to waste an hour every morning setting up and not have to waste an hour every night cleaning up will give me an extra day worth of work. Not having to edit another video a week will get me another day. So basically I'll gain another 16 hours to 20 hours a week to pump out cars, but I'm not gonna buy any more $500 cars at least not in the foreseeable future, at least not the need this kind of work. I gotta get away from this stuff. That's my goal. What I do wanna do for this episode, I had already started recording working on this thing. And I don't know if I mentioned it in those clips, but my power steering fluid after doing all that work, I have a hole, a pinhole in the top power steering hose. So I had ordered that right before we started moving and everything happened. So I'm gonna replace that hose right now. But before I do any of that, I'm gonna move these lights because obviously, I mean, that's gonna be a dead zone in the film. So anyway, I'm gonna get started with all that. I'll talk to you guys in a bit.
All right, so I completed the power steering pump line and I kind of docked it back and forth to make sure that all the air is out of the lines. Uh, what I do want to focus on right now is to start tackling the interior. Basically, what I want to do is take out the front seats. If I can, take out the back seats as well. And then I want to basically vacuum everything up and start scrubbing it down. I think what I'll probably do first is take the air compressor with the gun and kind of go in to all the jams and all the little crevices on the dashboard to hopefully get all that stuff off. And then I'll kind of move on from there and figure out my way. Still trying to figure out the rhythm of how to work in here. I have a garage, I have tools, it's cool. But right now I do have to be a little space saving until I get this out of here and get the Audi done. Uh, once the Audi's done, there'll be a lot of space to work on cars. So anyway, I'm gonna get started. See you in a bit. All right, it is the next morning. I did learn I need a lot more lighting in this place. Pretty nuts. If you look outside right now, it's a very rainy day. It feels like it's brighter in here than outside, but just the way light actually works, this is pretty dim. So now that you can actually semi see it, this was is my tool situation at the moment. So I have all the bottles and all the little stud areas. Took the magnet strips out of the box, put everything that I could up. Found my old little holders for my wrenches, put them back in there. As you can see, it's enough just to do the job. Anyway, so the interior. Last night, I'm not sure what you guys got to see. The camera malfunctioned and shut off on me. So I think you saw me cleaning some of the dashboard. I don't know if you saw how intricate I got with it, but the dashboard is done. Steering wheel is done. It definitely looks a heck of a lot better with that cover on. The doors, all these little door trim panels, the center parts with the handle, they all had cloth on them, but all of them fell off, except I think this was the only one that still had it on there. So behind it is like this gross adhesive. I was able to get the goo off of both of these doors, I think. What I ended up doing is just taking a little bit of brake clean on a rag, kind of going through, and it took the goo right off. And now it looks pretty good. I actually like it. I think the next thing I'm gonna do is do the back, then I'm gonna do the seats, then I'll hit the carpet. Anyway, I'm gonna get started. See you in a bit. All right, so it's the next day, it's Friday. I'm gonna try to get as much as I can done today. Kind of stopped halfway through the rug yesterday. The missus came home for dinner 
and it was time to finally call it quits. But I think some of you guys probably saw I kept cleaning this spot and wow, that looks way worse than the camera. Crazy. All right. Anyway, I kept cleaning this spot. I kept bringing stuff up and it just wouldn't stop. I think whatever is in there is probably layers thick and it's just not worth it. This is underneath the seats. No one's ever going to see it. I got the scent out of the car, so I'm happy about that. And then there's this rear part where it almost seems like it's been bleached and the color has been pulled out of it, but then a new color got dyed on top of it. And it's weirdly in a perfect line of the rear floor mats. Then I thought I was a little crazy, so I just went over to the other side and I found the exact same thing. There's a hard line right here and it comes up somewhere in here, cuts across and then comes back down and around in the line. It's like perfect. The weird thing is, is it's only in the back floor mats. So I don't know if they spilled maybe bleach back there a while back. Ah, oh, see something that shows something happened. Yeah, I bet you they spilled build bleach but then it died back from the rubber and i don't know the front mats don't have it as bad but the back ones do yeah maybe it's just a bad rubber i was originally going to throw these mats out because they're so gross but now i'm thinking i might just clean them up and paint them paint them the black and put them back in yeah i think that's the route i'm going to go see what happens if they like it if they don't like it whatever we'll we'll adjust the price accordingly we'll see what happens but first i'm going to get started with the armrest then i'm going to finish the carpet and move on to the seats let's get started Unfortunately, I think the camera cut out on me. Basically, I finished doing the driver's seat. Everything's done as far as the interior. I think I could probably vacuum a little bit of the headliner, but I'm probably gonna mess with that later when everything's dry. I don't wanna make everything dirty again. But right now, what I would like to do is I wanna put the seats back in the car. After I do both those things, I think I wanna tackle putting on the trim on the back bumper, this plastic piece. I wanna put that on the back bumper and Hopefully, hopefully I will do the emblems as well. I think I might also take off these windshield wipers because I'm going to have to paint this and actually heat this plastic up. I might heat that plastic up right now as well. I'm just going to do as much as I can in the time that I have and see what happens. So I'm going to get started. See you guys in a bit. So I was able to get the windshield wipers off. I ended up heating up the molding. I think I still might paint this molding. I don't know, maybe I won't, maybe I'll just leave it. It was so just completely oxidized, pretty bad. And then I'm having a lot of problems with this camera guys. So I don't know what you guys are seeing and what you're not. Here, let me try to throw some lights on. The Hyundai symbol, I don't even know if you saw me set that one up to line it up. It's still a little crooked. I messed up the A and the I, it kind of went up. The Tucson actually came out really good. I'm really happy with how sharp and like perfect this one lined up. The bottom trim came out really good. Really content with it. I'm very happy overall. This was just a learning curve. It's getting a little late. It's almost eight o'clock right now. It's Friday night. Uh, I have to edit tomorrow and it's still time for dinner, take a shower, all that. So I think it's gonna wrap it up here, guys. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll catch you again next time. Later, guys.